Jason Orange left fans heartbroken when he announced he was quitting Take That in 2014. He insisted had had the best years of his life with the chart toppers, before saying, there have been no fallings out, only a decision on my part that I no longer wish to do this. Fans were baffled as to why the singer would want to give up the gig, which saw him amass legions of loyal followers worldwide. But Jason, now 52, was adamant he wouldn't return. His bandmates Mark Owen, Gary Owen and Howard Donald are all set to storm the stage at BST in Hyde Park tonight with some excited ticket holders tweeting they hope Jason makes an appearance. But after Take That gave their explanation for the star's 10-year absence, it looks unlikely. Mark Owen explains Jason Orange's absence after Jason quit, Gary. Mark and Howard Donald continued to perform as a trio. They've now opened up about their pals break from the band, insisting they're still friends with the dancer, as they are with Robbie Williams, who quit in 1995. I think he felt he didn't want to do it anymore, Mark explained of Jason's decision to leave. But I'm not going to speak for him. As still here anyway. The other day we were trying to work out who the best joke teller in the band is and remembered how Jason always laughed before he got to the punchline, he told the Times. Jason's off-grid life frontman Gary was reportedly desperate for Jason to rejoin Take That. The singer previously told The Sun, Jason isn't coming back. Take that is Mark, Howard and me for the next few years. In 2018, Howard revealed Jason had stopped responding to calls and appeared to have completely gone off the grid to live a more normal life in the countryside. Jason has gone off the grid. Has not taking emails or phone calls or stuff like that. That's good for him, he told the Loose Women panel. That's where he wants to be. I think he wants to be a million miles away from this at the moment. Living a quiet life in the country since quitting fame, Jason was said to be living a life away from the limelight in the Cotswolds. Little is known about the star's personal life. But Gary previously said, at the end of the day you've got to accept someone doesn't want to do what you're doing anymore. He wanted to go off, live his life and good luck to him if that's what he wants to do. He's spent a big part of his life being in the band, but he doesn't want to do it anymore, it's that simple. In 2020, Jason was spotted queuing in the dry cleaners in the picturesque village of Chipping Norton. The former boy bander was said to be house hunting in nearby Stow on the Wold, Gloucestershire as an insider told The Sun, Jason booked into a hotel in Stow and spent the week looking around the area eyeing up houses. Spotted in London however in June, this year, Jason was seen in North London. Pushing his bicycle, the singer cut a casual figure wearing a grey cap, blazer, navy trousers and boots. It's not known where he was heading, but Jason didn't look a world away from the heart the rock fans fell in love with one take that made their debut in the 90s. And why it looks unlikely he'll join Gary, Howard and Mark in Hyde Park this evening, we'd like to think he'll still tune in and watch the Never Forget Stars on TV. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.